because you're always so helpful. God damn it. What is that? Obviously, it's a space snake. Morty, Morty, listen up today. I'm going to teach you the most powerful language in the universe. Python. All right, pay attention, Morty. First things first, to write Python, you need an interpreter. Think of it as your portal to the Python universe. Let's use Jupyter Notebook, a combined Python interpreter, visualizer, and document manager. Data science, Morty. It's what scientists use. Scientists. Check this out. I'll make the computer say hello, Morty. This might seem like a simple hello, but it's more than just words on a screen. The tip of the iceberg, Morty, the gateway to a world of infinite possibilities. With Python, you can automate tasks, analyze data, build games, create art, and simulate worlds. Don't you get it? First up, we've got variables. Think of them as containers, Morty. You can store all sorts of stuff in them, like numbers, words, even entire universes. See, here, we've got a variable x storing the number 5 and a variable y storing the word dimension. Next up, we've got loops. Loops are like, uh, loops that let you do stuff over and over again without losing your mind. And last but not least, we've got conditions. Conditions are like, well, conditions that let you make decisions in your code. See, Morty, we're checking if your age is greater than or equal to 18. If it is, you can drink flea juice. If not, tough luck. Functions. Functions are like, uh, well, they're like recipes, Morty. Yeah, recipes for programming. Functions are building blocks for programs. The secret sauce. You can store blocks of code and call them later. And the best part, Morty, you can pass stuff into functions and get stuff back out. It's like a cosmic exchange, Morty. You give it some input, it does its thing, and then it gives you some output. Let's talk about data structures. Think of them as containers, Morty. Just like functions, but for holding different types of data. We've got lists, tuples, dictionaries. Data structures help us organize our data so we can access it later. All right, now that we've covered some basic concepts, it's time to talk about syntax. Think of syntax as the grammar of Python. It's like the rules of the language. You gotta follow the rules if you wanna avoid crashing and burning. Always follow the syntax. You hear me? All right, Morty, listen up. We're gonna write a program that helps us keep track of our interdimensional adventures. We create a list of dimensions we visited, Morty, and then we write functions to a new dimensions, remove dimensions, and check if a dimension exists. We've defined three functions, add dimension, remove a dimension, and check dimension. These functions allow us to manipulate our list of dimensions easily. Now, let's put these functions to the test. We'll add some dimensions, remove one, and then check if another one exists. And there's no limit to what we can do with Python. The universe is our playground. Subscribe to Toby's Data Digest. Subscribe now. Now, and like this stupid video.